Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is a practice problem for the previous lecture or for BFS. In the previous lecture, we have studied breadth first search, and in this lecture, we are going to implement the knowledge that we have gained in the previous lecture. So the problem is you are given, uh, sorry, the problem is Mong and the island taken from Hacker Earth. So there is a there is a Mong who wants to visit the Aneth Island island starting from the first island so there are n islands numbered from 1 to n they are connected by bi-directional bridges so he wants to go from first island to the nth island using the minimum number of bridges so basically you have to tell the minimum di uh, distance from node 1 to node n so input is you are given t test cases in each test case you are given two integers n and m and the number of nodes or number of islands and m the number of bridges or number of edges then m edges are given in the form of x y indicating then they, uh, that there exist an edge uh, between two uh, nodes so if you see the sample test case there are two test cases first and second uh, the first test case says 3 2 that is there are 3 nodes and 2 edges edges are 1 2 and 2 3 which you can see 1 2 and 2 3 so this is a uh, graph for sample test case 1 so you see to reach uh, node 3 from node 1 you need to cross 2 bridges so the answer is 2 right sample output is 2 for first graph the second graph says 4 4 that is there are 4 nodes and 4 edges 1 is connected to 2, 2 is connected to 3, so 1 is connected to 2, 2 is connected to 3, 3, 4 and 2, 4, so 3, 4 and 2, 4, this is the graph of second test case. So if you see from node 1 to node 4 there are two paths, 1, 2, 2, 4 which is of length 2, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4 which is of, uh, of length 3, so the minimum is 2, so the minimum distance from 1 to 4 is 2, that is why the answer of second test case is also 2. So all we have to do is apply BFS and print the distance of nth uh, node. So let's do this. Since uh, in the constant it is given that n can be as large as 10 to the power 4, that is there would be as large as 10 to the power 4 number of nodes. So let's create uh, an adjacency list of size transfer 4 then we would need a uh, visited array and also this time distance array to calculate the distance of each node from source node now in the main we need t n m a n b now in each test cases we will be given n and m now we need Sorry, we need to clear the adjacency list from the previous test case since there are t test cases. So, in the second test case, adjacency list would be containing information of test case 1. So, we must need to clear adjacency list as well as the visited array each time we start a new test case. So, adjacency list is being cleared and uh, visited arrays initialized to 0 again after that we would read m edges in the adjacency list of uh, first we would read a and b and then in the adjacency list of a we would insert b and then in the adjacency list of b we would insert a so in the adjacency list of A, we have inserted B. In the adjacency list of B, we have inserted A. After this, uh, uh, the graph is completed. Now we would make BFS call using source node as one. Now since you need to find the distance of node n from node one, so source node must be one. That is why source node is set to be one. After that, all you gotta do is print the distance of nth node, and that's all. Now the main thing is to design this BFS function.
now as explained earlier what we do in the BFS we need a queue and to create a queue in C++ you can use STL that is standard template library so to create a queue you can do this but you need to tell what elements you are going to insert in queue so you tell that in this template uh, curly braces or uh, square brackets you tell I'm gonna cre create uh, a queue in which I'm going to store integers now to insert an element into queue you call a function uh, queue dot push so sorry this is source src so first thing that we do is we insert if you remember from lecture we insert source node into the queue then mark source node as visited and initialize its distance of source node to be zero now we move uh, we move on to while loop and we run the while loop as long as q is not empty so q dot empty uh, would return true or false if q is empty then it would return true otherwise it returns false so we have to run the q as long as q is not empty so the while loop runs while q is not empty that is at least a single element exists in the queue now what we do we take the current element and the current element is the uh, front element of the queue so we take the queue and find the front element q dot front returns the first element of the queue that is front element of a queue and after that what we do we remove that element from the queue this you remember from the lecture now what we do we go in into the adjacency list of this current node so this is the adjacency list of current node we are traversing each and every child of it and we would insert every node which is not visited we would insert every node which is not visited into the queue so if this child is not visited what we would do queue dot push we would insert this child into the queue we would update the distance or we save the distance of current child of child to be distance of current node plus one as explained earlier and we would mark the child as visited that's all we are done with uh, BFS so this is the initialization phase what we do we create a queue insert the source node into the queue uh, set the distance of source node to be zero and mark the source node to be visited after that we run a while loop as long as there are no elements or sorry as long as there is at least one element in the queue we take the front element as the current element and then when uh, and then we traverse the adjacency list of current node if the child is not visited then uh, we insert child into the queue we set its distance to be a uh, distance of current node plus one and also uh, we mark it as visited and that's all it is as easy as that I hope you don't get any error yeah everything fine so let's simply oh let's copy this and simply run this in hacker earth itself so let's compile and test so sample test case passes because expected was 22 and printed is 22 let's submit and we have got 20 marks or we have got full marks so you see this was the bfs algorithm is as easy as this we have to do nothing just create a queue insert uh, insert source node into it mark it as visited and initialize the distance to be zero after that each time you take the front element as the current element and pop that element from the queue traverse all the elements in the adjacency list of current element if the child is not visited then we mark it as visited initialize its distance entered into the queue that's all and then the distance array finally contains the distance of each node from source node this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching until the next video drops keep coding thank you